NIAID, which Dr. Fauci heads, had funded $3.7 million to EcoHealth Alliance, uh, which is headed Correct. by Dr. Peter Zizak, right? And, and he, of course, his associations with the Wuhan Institute of Virology is, is public knowledge. Am I, am, I, am I correct or am I spinning it to yes, Dr. Li Meng Yen? Uh, no, you're, 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 co- you're avoiding one fact that that 4.7 million was over a number of years. 3.7. And it did not go to Wuhan uh, Virology Institute. It went, 600,000 went to study the spikes on the, on the protein, which allow, that's what's unique about coronavirus and why it's called that. There are spike protein spikes that allow it to attach to uh, healthy cells and then insert its uh, you know, poison in them and replicate. Uh, and that, that study uh, was being used because they had the bat uh, guano and research that they were doing there. Uh, but to transform that into the US government or Fauci was some, had some reason to develop a biological weapon that was supposed to be leaked by the Chinese no. Uh, first to the Chinese themselves and then somewhere else. It sounds a little far-fetched, no. doesn't it? Th- yeah, but I don't think anybody's suggesting that. I think they're asking questions. Well, and, and I, I'm ra- afraid you're... No, that's what uh, Dr. Lim has said. That there, okay, it let was me, w- w- okay, I'll let her answer that. You I'll let her answer that. that there was money sent to the uh, Wuhan... Uh, uh, things. No, no. That, that is un- incontrovertible because they have, they have the receipts. They have the, uh, the money flowing there. I let her so answer that. If, if it was if it was deliberate, Hi. then there was cooperation between the U.S. and China. That yes. doesn't sound right, does it? Hi, can I answer? Yes, Dr. Li Yan. Okay, thank you. So actually, I think uh, Indian audience now can enjoy the show from the typical Chinese misinformation propaganda based in Beijing going through uh, Dr. Tangan. Yeah, that is just I'm not one a doctor. Part. Please stop calling me a doctor. Oh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Tangan. Yes, Mr. Tangan. He's, a, uh, he's yeah, an Mr. economy Tangan. and political commentator, Li Meng Yan, okay, Dr. Yan. Yeah. He, okay, yeah. 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 So, so that, yeah, that is as I told people from last year, early last year, when the outbreak just start, start from Wuhan, I told people that this is typical misinformation, including scientific part and non-scientific part. So now Mr. Tengen is representative of the non-scientific part. Their target, their aim is to muddy the water and make people get confused about the origin of the virus and also spread the rumor and even describe the people like me who are real whistleblowers and who are real coronavirus experts. So let me explain. You're not. This. You're an expert in yes, flu. There not, are some not coronavirus. Money. And you were. You were uh, I have major paper on that using the transmissional model in COVID 19, which is a highly uh, recommended paper for animal model in COVID 19 back to last. Uh, May published. Yeah, I'm the co-first author, and also I have one set infectious disease paper, which is about antibody related to COVID-19 patient. That one actually help regener- regenerate to develop their own antibody cocktail treatment. Yeah. Okay. Let me explain this. So, actually, yeah, there was some money comes through NIH approved by uh, Dr. Fauci and going through Peter Daszak went into Wuhan and also found some experiment there. But the thing is, I mean, like to be honest, there is no document will write they are doing the gain of function using this money. So clearly China is using the weakness of the law in US to cheat the money. And also this money actually is only very little piece of the money to be used to develop China's confidential non-traditional bioweapon. Because China has recruited thousands of scientists all over the world and also they donate quite a lot of money, spend more than 10 years, yeah. 20 years to search the dangerous virus all over China and the world and then develop them. We have a lot of evidence. I present a lot of evidence. We see the PLA textbook is talking about that. But we also yeah. say, yeah, China clearly mentioned they will deny in the PLA textbook. Okay, let's see where the story goes. I, I have very little time. Let me get in the last comment from Captain Bansal. He's spoken just once. Captain Bansal, uh, do, you think, do you think the way things are going, they, they can be a relook into this entire, uh, you know, lab leak angle, as they're calling it? See, there is need to be a relook. 
However, will China allow that sort of a relook is a million dollar question. Because if you remember when the COVID-19 broke out, uh, China initially denied an, uh, any need for an international investigation. And even when the WHO team was allowed, uh, the way they were quarantined and actually not allowed to go and go to Wuhan actually precluded the whole purpose of sending a team. But I think uh, more and more evidence is emerging, which actually raises certain questions about this natural mutation or it's a man-made mutation. Yeah. Uh, consequently, the global community wants to know why this pandemic, we have had millions of deaths, actually who's responsible for it? And if we would like to have certain questions as to why this pandemic has happened, why did it originate in Wuhan itself? And what is the solution? Okay. And solution cannot be found till the time we find uh, come to know what is the origin, yeah. uh, what is the source, whether it is man-made. It, was it actually uh, some tinkering going on in Wuhan Institute of Virology? And if it was, then they yeah. should come out with answers what they were trying to do so that a solution can be found. Captain Bansal, let's see where the story goes. Mr. Tangan, Dr. Lee Meng Yan and Captain Bansal only for today because the updates uh, updates came in and we are, we, are, we are running out of time. I'm thanking you for today. We'll speak again very soon. Thank you very much. Nice to talk to you. Thank you.